Hey honey bunches, I hope you're doing well when this video finds you. Um, I've been slightly, majorly um, not buying into the be productive during this particular period we find ourselves in. I don't think that's doing any positive for anyone's mental health. No surprises since I'm practically in like pajamas and drinking hot chocolate. So here is a more soothing chiller list of 30 plus things you can do if you find yourself. I mean, if you're, if you're going great, you keep doing you. But if you find yourself wanting a little inspiration. Paint, decorate your clothes. If you have uh, a garment that would enjoy a bit of sprucing up, then paint like a very simple, I'd recommend just like one colour pattern with some fabric paint. You could buy this online if... Um, yeah, you can't find it in a store that you can go to at this time. Write letters, especially if you're like a babysitter or nanny or your grandparents. Um, yeah, write a just nice little letter. Doesn't have to be long of what you've been up to. Be encouraging, be supportive, share some love. Um, and yeah, yeah, if you're a babysitter or nanny, that'll like give you major brownie points. <laughs> um, if you go for a walk, just like walk a little further or a different route with the purpose of spotting some like chalk art. Um, if that is a thing near where you live might even make you shed a little tear go for a walk and just like enjoy the smells <laughs> that sounds a bit odd but like the naturey smells there's a lot of eucalyptusy stuff and gums near where i live so that's very refreshing obviously you could walk and talk call a friend on a walk you need to change the scene but catch up with someone at the same time if you enjoy photography then maybe splurge a little and buy a visco filter pack or two and just take your camera on walks and take photos of whatever floats your boat that's a really satisfying activity maybe a long shot but if you have a wee somewhere collecting dust now would be the sublime time to dig it out i reckon we did have one growing up but we unfortunately sold it a few years back and majorly regretting that now because a game of mario kart has never sounded so good if you have some old nail polishes you could paint your nails i prefer or enjoy doing it in like a sparkly type thing because then it doesn't have to be precise top tip um plant some seeds i know seeds have like sold out in a lot of warehousey places so maybe turn to an online shop might take a little while to get to you but you know once they're there let them sprout very satisfying um do a color by number i did this one in uh, oil pastels I wouldn't do that because they're not very precise but you could use any sort of medium you could even paint them and makes a nice little bit of wall art network from bed just make sure you send the email at an appropriate time and if you're like me and like why well, hate this then just uh, let people know you exist by flattering them um, you can make greeting cards by using up like little pics from magazines or old children's books any uh, materials you have on hand and then for the rest of the year and birthday cards and all sorts of occasions you're raring to go if you have access to hair cutting scissors have a haircut heck malala did it i got my mum to do mine i was thinking it was a little short but actually i'm kind of loving it it's verging on a bob but it's not quite and my curls are thanking me my mum for it spruce up your walls with a bit of wall art my friend sent me this quote which pretty much encapsulates to encapsulates and encapsulated how i was feeling kind of the point of this video you know don't have to be productive hustling all the time animal encounters obviously if you have a dog or a cat and i'm sure they're getting lots of attention uh we only have chooks in our house or on our, in our backyard at the moment unfortunately with these guys it's been like survival of the shittest i'm not trying to be mean but they're just very aggressive so i often go on pet rescue and just uh enjoy reading the bios of dogs um you could text a crush yep with isolation things happening you know the pressure's off like things to actually come out of it so um mm, yeah do that and i actually did do this i'm not just acting <laughs> so yeah give me a like for my effort <laughs> um you could do some yoga maybe if you're not a yoga fan just do it for the stretch because you're probably sitting on your butt maybe a little more than usual and a stretch often well will feel real good have a crafternoon Skype sesh with any sort of like crafty project you want to do. I did a little air dry clay modeling on a recent Skype call. Made this like lamb thing. I need a coat of paint. Um, finish a book you've left hanging. That's a good thing to do. Although more on like the productive side. So, you know, no pressure. Use your good stickers. I mean, in a global pandemic, if you're not using them now, what are you doing? For me, it's these those dog stickers big fan of them definitely been using a few more of them lately buy birthday presents you know online shopping but with the purpose of others and i'm sure small businesses like these illustration things could do with your help take a myers-briggs personality test 
um, just again, you know, for fun. Uh, there's a new Hogwarts sorting quiz, so Hogwarts house sorting quiz, so do that and then maybe like me have a little existential crisis when you get a different house! No! <laughs> but don't worry, I kind of come to terms with it. I've always been a Hufflepuff, so it's slightly thrown, but it kind of does fit too, I don't know. You could retake the Patronus quiz. This was so good. I finally got a dog. I mean, a bloodhound. I never like actually met a bloodhound, so I don't know, but I've been really wanting a dog, so... Um, you could find some sheet music online for an instrument you have access to. I got out my flute for like the first time in Yonks and couldn't stop laughing because it was funny how bad I was. And also being like a breathy instrument doesn't help if you like get the giggles. Um, but yeah, I just played like music of like scores from films. That was satisfying for an afternoon. <laughs> I've forgotten so much. Anyway, you could do a paper aeroplane competition with people you live with. This is how I make my fave one. You kind of like do three folds in um, and sort of weight the, bot the front tip of it if you're wondering. It also works, this aeroplane, if you throw it underarm. Yeah, not a very exciting one, but do a puzzle. We have like an, some Olympics puzzles, so maybe I could do them and pretend the Olympics is happening this year. Um, listen to the new Beatle the Bard um, audiobook. It's so good and really quick and great escapism and so visual. Make a tassel for like a bag. My mum was way too fat, but um, I'll make another. I'll work on it. I'll learn. And reorganize your wardrobe to like accommodate these this change in season period we are in. Yeah, hope that was enjoyable, honey bunches. Thank you for watching. Remember to be extra kind and gentle to yourself. And if you've been enjoying doing something along the lines of these sorts of things I've mentioned, let us know below. Lots of love. See you soon. Bye. Make a hot chocolate. Always a good idea.